Welcome back to our Europa Getting Started guide. We, in the previous episode, we have set up a small base, as you can tell, and in today's episode, we will hopefully be taking on Furnace and also the power situation because we need to basically start producing power. Our solar generator is here, and for the time being, it will be our main prim primary power generation method. However, with that being said, we just want to set us up for the mining operation. Let's see. Yes, I have the mining belt. Everything is ready. And also, I want to be taking... Do I have the iron frames? I'm going to create another iron frame here that I'm going to be welding with some iron sheets, which I want to be placing... Uh, basically, I want to be placing the charger here. Uh, and some more stuff so I'm still gonna fully weld it up like this and then I'm gonna be I'm just basically waiting for the morning to come because when the morning comes we will start to go mining and we're gonna go and chase for two resources iron and coal However, we also want to be tackling on the copper and gold are basically targets of opportunity if we can find them. Now, all right, another tip is if you want to take your, uh, sorry, wire cutters in one hand and then a cable in another, you will be able to basically splice the cable, which will come in handy later on if you want to place them like together. Okay, so here we can have our power charger and here I want to be creating another branch that will be, okay, we just rotated with letter C and I want to be setting up another power branch that we're going to go behind this arc furnace which will be basically going out to tackle on the door situation. The door we also want to be wiring up sooner rather than later so let's do it like actually this as you can see a little bit of cool air went out but that's fine the door we want to basically prepare because we want to be building an airlock sooner rather than later and you can do it with normal door so let's just wire it up And like this, like this, you shall go here and you shall go here. And I'm guessing that our power should be co continuing somewhere along these lines inside. I'm not going to use too much. Is it dawn already? Not yet. All right. And we'll just Pack this in and maybe put the wire cutters there. I actually might want to consider wiring up for another kit lights. This is for the charger that will be downstairs. I think that sun is might be coming up. I don't want to waste any moment because you know power situation. Right. What's my power? Oh, it's 22%. So I'm going to drag and swap this for the 99% battery that's in my suit. And okay, the dawn is breaking. Let's get out. There we go. Chill in. Beautiful. So I'm going to turn off my lights just to save on the battery power. And now we're looking for two resources, coal and iron. And I think I've just found iron. Yes, that will do nicely. And I think I even found even iron and coal, which is even better. Right, so I'm going to take my mining belt out. I'm going to take my mining drill. Yeah, that's iron, all right. Ideally, you want as many as you can find, but at least one stack of iron for the beginning and one stack of coal will do. 
Ideally you want four stacks of iron and two stacks of coal, but... I would consider that it was time well spent because we managed to get everything we needed. Which is fantastic to be honest. And our base is up here on the hill. Note that I remember that my base was somewhere around bearing 250-270. So any large mountain bearing 270 would be it. See? Very handy to remember such stuff. Now, okay... We are back here, so I want to be placing my tool belt back in. And I want to first close this door. Note that you always want to do this first, and then opening up this door. And look at this. Yes, our power is low, but this situation is about to change. So, first let's dump the ores. Iron. Iron 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 and we have coal and then we have we'll be smelting all of these or and this guy all right and then we need to basically take them out of the mining belt as well then we have some more copper we have some more gold and we have the coal. That's pretty much our ores. Beautiful. Where are my flares? Interesting. I could swear I, I left off some flares here. I think that they actually despawn after a while. Hmm. Interesting. All right. What I don't have is silicon because that would be handy to make a kit light so that we don't have to use this suit lights. Okay. Never mind then. What I'm going to do, I'm going to be placing some coal in this generator. And that's how we will be powering the base early on. Now, I want to be starting to dig up more of the base. So that I have an area where to place my electronics printer, which I fully intend to be placing. And while we're actually recharging the battery, might as well smelt some copper actually not the copper first i want to smelt the iron first i'll th take the one full stack of iron and i'm gonna smelt it and this will also be heating up the room from minus 79 to slightly more so yeah let's continue digging up I believe talk about the silicon i just found some silicon ain't that great so we'll be able to build ourselves the light as well all right yes there is air circling around this all right now oh i think that's done perfect I'm gonna close this guy and I'm actually gonna dump silicon right in. I know it's not a priority technically, but still, it will be handy nonetheless. So, uh, let's see, what do we need for building the electronics printer? Kit, electronics printer, electronics printer. I need iron, gold, and copper. Most of it iron. All right, iron we've already smelted. Uh, silicon we're smelting, copper's gonna be, and coal will be our primary source of power, as I said. Now, that being said, I want another iron frame up here, and I wanted that battery charger over there. How is the smelting going on? Four grams of silicon. I'm hoping basically that I will be able to uh, get the lights going. So let's do a bit of a lights like here. Silicone, yes. Come on, silicone. There we go in. 
Let's just see if we can make a kit light first. Kit A, B, C, D, E, F, G, uh, lights. Oh, I need some copper as well. All right, copper, you go in. I was about to smelt you anyway. And let's see. I was thinking something like this. There we go. And note, you cannot splice it until you got this in. All right. And then we take the wire cutters. So that's copper. First, we're going to create this kit lights. Should be done pretty quickly. And then we're going to go with the electronics printer. There we go. And then we, we have to smelt some gold first. Oh. Why did you... We're not done with the copper yet. All right. And do be done with the copper. Okay, light. See, now we can turn off our light and we already have, you know, modest but decent light. Okay, let's start smelting the gold. Gold takes forever to smelt and it's much hand, more handier to do it in the arc furnace rather, but still... Uh, Auto lathe. Let's do kit electronics printer. We need two gold. Okay, so I'm gonna actually interrupt this gold smelting. 39, 38. Come on. I just need two gold, basically. 37. Good enough. Goldus interrupt us. Please spit it out. Okay, now you can continue smelting gold for all I care. Painfully slow, but what can you do? Okay, electronics printer. And then we need to be making some more of the cable coil. Yes, we, there are also two batteries down there in the lander, but I'm not going to just go and get them right now. This will take a while, all right. We have plenty of copper. Wait, will it create another one? It won't. Then I don't need to care about it, basically. And this will be smelting until it's done. How is my battery? It's a 20%. Yeah, electronics printer is much better at producing. I think I'm going to have to take a bit more of this coal, sadly, which is not thing, something I intended to do. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, battery power-wise, we'll need it. Seventy-five percent. And this battery is about also to kick the bucket. However, the temperature in our room is now mild or nice and cozy, minus 54, if you can call that cozy. And I should be turning off my lights, yes. Come on. 95, there we go. Almost done. Perfect. So... We're gonna now take and build the electronics printer. Well, it's not ideal, but I'm gonna place it close. I can always fix it up later. So where are my iron sheets? There we go. Welder. Weld it up. Cable coil. There we go. And now plastic sheets, if I recall correctly. Mm. 
There we go. And now the screwdriver for the final touch. There we go. Perfect. I think I need to will need to print some more of the cable coil, the regular one. And I'm gonna hook up my electronics printer while I'm doing so. Oh, I might be out of copper. Or at least it sounds that way. Okay, the daylight is approaching, which is good. Because I will need to go on a sooner rather than later another mining escapade. Okay, gold, spit it out. Whatever you manage, you managed. Oh, one more. That's nice. So, 36 gold, you're gonna go inside and... Well, one gold you might as well smelt. I mean, I'm not that sensitive. Probably the battery is going to die out sooner rather than later. And you go over there. Perfect. There we go. And I want to be continuing smelting copper while I'm away. And I think there is no more power. Yes. All right. So one gram of copper extra. That's beautiful. Right. I'm going to go out and mine some more coal. And that will be fun because my battery, I think, will go critical within moments. As you can see, these batteries really don't last long. They're more basically just, you know, help me out here thing, rather than anything more serious. And I'm gonna just grab a little bit of iron while I'm running back. 14, I think that should be enough. Look at that, 59, 57. Look at how fast it's being depleted. It's horrendous. All right, so close this. I know, I know the power is low. Stop reminding me. All right, so uh, where's my mining belt? We'll fix the situation promptly. 35, just dunk it in there and it starts generating power. And you start heating up the area and we'll be placing some more coal here and iron. Okay, I don't need to go through this. But this might be a nice touch. Okay, so... Now, the whole reason why I wanted to do this... Do we have enough cable coil? Yes, we should have one more, which is good enough for me. So... Yes, power critical. In the beginning, you actually do hear that a lot. So... You basically swap this for this guy, and then swap this for this guy. There we go. And while we do this, we can actually splice this cable to place an electronics printer. Congratulations, we have now electronics printer 
and some medium form of power generation but I want to be smelting copper I think the copper is being smelted by a large degree I hope so at least and I want to be checking the recipe for the furnace which was one of the reasons why I was 29 iron and 10 copper exactly so how much copper you have you have only gold all right see all of this copper is gonna just come is gonna come just nicely I'm gonna interrupt you sorry I need you to put smelt some iron for me please thank you first you're gonna go here when it comes to copper yes and then I need one gram of iron which will be done soon enough perfect please continue with the copper thank you so we are creating the furnace now the real deal and for the time being the way you sort your power as you can see is basically just doing this back and forth doing the dance and while you're heating the area as well so it's like we're only now at minus 23 it's kind of important to keep track of the power situation yeah uh, I'm thinking now here I want to be building the I think battery kit large so let's just see what we need to do that battery kit battery and large copper and steel yeah gold we have copper we have and steel we will need all right so copper we dunk copper in might as well be continuing to smelt the copper and I'm actually thinking I might be going down to furnace yeah you're not gonna be continuing anytime soon right so like I said in this episode we'll be constructing the furnace the electronics printer and just sorting a little bit the power situation There we go, furnace is there. And I think we need some iron sheets if I recall correctly for building it. So yeah, we'll place this. Iron sheets and I don't know if we need plastic sheets as well. So I'm gonna take them just in case. All right, so close this guy up open it lights and actually for the first run we can actually just create our furnace here not the primary place where i want to be putting it but for the first smelt we can have it like this um, there we go yeah so wrench and two iron sheets crowbar is gonna go back in its spot and wrench is coming here and then welding torch and iron sheets okay so we need a welding torch as well okay that's the welding torch iron sheets are done perfect so that's our furnace done it it's actually operable at the moment so what I want to be doing I want to be smelting some steel 
if I will be able to. There we go. Okay, you are done. No need to co consume power, even when idling. Uh, gold, copper. And now we should be taking our steel for a run. How is our battery? 67% decent. So, uh, how do you make steel? It's quite simple. You have volatiles and you have oxides and we want to take one, two, three iron and one coal. That's the correct ratio. And then you want to take it outside. Right now I'm aware that this closing and opening door is nuisance but it's necessary. Okay, so let's do this. Now, first, typically I go and place four volatiles and then two oxides. Usually it takes a little bit more, but We just activate it and two oxides ignite it. All right. It's burning hot. We put iron. Okay, more iron. More iron. It's melting and coal. Now let's hope that it will produce steel that I've guessed the temperature correctly. No, I have not. In that case, we want to see that we add also two more volatiles and probably one more oxide. Let's see, one more oxide should do it fine, I think. Iron, hydrocarbon, temperature. I think the temperature needs to be a little bit hotter. I'll try to add two more volatiles. This is my last chance. Let's see two oxides more. All right, now we're cooking ingot steel. There we go, spit it out. There we go. Now, ultimately, the temperature is high and the pressure is quite high and I'm just gonna leave my furnace like this because I have no way of actually controlling it. <laughs> so at the moment, we will be fixing that later. However, now we want to be closing that and closing that and we want to be putting the steel inside here. Now remember we still have the coal and this is one of the reasons why I was saving coal so that now we can actually make hopefully a battery kit large. That should be enough and now let's see how do we tackle this cool I'm gonna be moving away from here and hold on I want to be printing some heavy cable coils for the reason I'm gonna explain sooner rather than later but at least two of them
Yeah, because I'm almost empty of gold. No, didn't I have anything more gold here or here-ish? Yes, I had gold here. Perfectly, I'll need that gold. Chug it out, Sunny. Okay, spit them up. I think five cable, heavy cables shall do it. That's fine. Now what I need to have is my, this guy, I'm gonna deconstruct it, temporarily of course. And my wire cutters, there we go. We put the cable in here and the generator in here. We take the battery kit large which will be right about here and we'll place it something like this. All right, so this is the input for the battery and this is the output. Output is gonna go the quickest way to our power controller. And the input is gonna go the quickest way possible to our power generator. I'm thinking that way. Is there a way I could place it somewhere here-ish? Oh yeah, this is in the way. Okay, can we create more power cables? Yes, we can, a few more. All right, in that case, I'm gonna just dig this area a bit up. I think we've uncovered a hole somewhere. Doesn't matter. What I'm gonna do is close it up. There we go. And power cables. There we go. So you continue this way and come back here. Good, uh, where's my power generator? And I think something like this should suffice for the time being. The whole reason for it being that if I turn on the power here and I dump this chunk of coal, we will have permanent power, the battery is charging. Wonderful. Well, that, this, that, that's it basically, that was my goal for today guys, so. All right, with that being said, I think this is pretty much wraps it up for today's uh, tutorial episode where we have constructed the furnace, we have actually managed to get our power situation under control and we will be charging our batteries and the whole life will be much nicer. So, thank you very much for watching, like if you liked the episode, and I hope I will see you again in the next one. This is Gromforks, signing off.